Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying to run PlayStation Mobile on a dev kit because I realize I've never actually tried that before and it'd be pretty unlike me not to try that so um, I'm going, I don't have any PlayStation Mobile stuff set up on here so I'm going to go through the whole process of setting it up um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Vita Shell I'm going to enable um, no PSM DRAM, I think I already have it downloaded I just need to put it into my config text so, you can use um, auto plugin to do this if you want, but I can't be bothered, so. Okay, I'm actually going to disable refood because um, it might make it work even if it normally wouldn't. So yeah, like it makes like refood for example will make um, retail games work on a dev kit that isn't activated. Um, so yeah. So now I need to um, download the PlayStation Mobile runtime. Where's PKGJ? I, my system is so. Fucking crowded with crap. Um, PKGJ, there it is. Okay. Okay. Um, let's start with normal games and we'll search for. On time. Wait, PlayStation Mobile runtime package. All right. I guess it's downloading twice. Oops. I don't know why I tried to even find it, I mean, it's not even an actual app you can find like that. Um, and this one here is a duplicate, I think. So I'm just delete that. Okay. So next thing is down an actual PlayStation Mobile game. Let's go with my favorite, Adventure Bally album. I already have a few on here, but I'm going to download a new one just for the sake of this video. Okay, that is now done, so that should appear on the home screen somewhere, here it is. Okay, so next I'm going to activate all these plugins I just did, and also activate my dev kit, because right now um, it isn't activated because it's past the first boot, and the time is before the 1st of January 2015, so let me just unplug it, wait like 10 seconds, and then plug it back in. And that should activate it. Alright. So when it's activated, a lot of um, homebrew apps don't work as well, which is actually kind of makes having a date, a weird activation date like I do, as before the 1st of January 2015, actually it's kind of helpful, it means if you unplug it the first time, plug it back in, it's activated, and if you reboot again, it's not, so you can run your apps normally. So you can kind of easily switch between them using that. So it's actually not that bad. Um, <laughs> I 
yeah, a few other apps show up here. But here we go, let's try running this. I'm pretty sure this will work, but I just had to try it. Yep, seems to work fine. So yeah, PSM works on dev kits. Nice. seen this cutscene like a million times. <laughs> Alright. This this free do I have free PSM on here? Let's check. No I don't have, I don't have free PSM on here. Alright, well whatever. Um <laughs> obviously it does work, so you know, let's save this game properly. Okay, um, so next I'm going to try on. Um, I'll turn this off. And plug it. And then I'm gonna take the, um, this out. And we're gonna try some of my test kits. This is a real test kit from Sony, and we're going to try the exact same thing here. Ah, stuff so hard to put in. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to turn this on. And we can see if the game works on the test kit too. I don't think this one's activated. I'll have to activate it when I, you know, turn it on. Which means I'll probably have to turn off the internet on it as well. Yeah, see, test, my testing kit is expired. Um, so I'll activate when I get back on. Uh, well, I'll get activated when it boots up, and then I'll remove refood, enable P no PSM DRM, and I'll see if it works. I don't have an account set up on this um, console. Oh, that's the wrong access point. I'm just jog into that. This doesn't even have, um, this doesn't have any of these plugins installed. Let me just remove no SCEWM. Um, this doesn't have any of my plugins installed. Let me go install those real quick. 
Um, where is auto plugins? It's the easiest way to do it when I don't have them on the system already. Yeah. Install plugins. Um. Let's go free PSM. No MP zero M and no PSM zero M. All right, brilliant. Okay, and now it's activated. Um, I'll turn off the Wi Fi because it will deactivate as soon as it connects to PSN again, which is kind of annoying. But let's give that a shot. And then I already know PSN won't launch if you don't have an account assigned, so I'll have to switch to an account that is actually assigned to it. I, um,. And then I can try one PlayStation Mobile and see what happens. That's right, that turns it off, doesn't reboot. <laughs> I forgot about that. It completely turns it off instead of rebooting it. See, it's still active here because I haven't turned the Wi-Fi on. If I turn the Wi-Fi on, it'll be all connected to PSN, and then it will break the um, it'll deactivate as soon as it connects to PSN, which is very annoying. Um, I probably should make like auto KMS for Vito or something, um, to so, like auto reactivate it every single time. Oh, account switching. Um, yeah, let's switch to my main account. I don't get how it takes Sony like ten like ten good seconds to switch accounts. Like it's changing free registry keys, guys. Like, <laughs> like only one of them you even technically have to change. You can use the other two of your own. I mean come on. <laughs> Alright. So we can finally try one PlayStation Mobile because I have my my desk. It was in a very not very good setup for doing this. Um, okay, AB Yabunf. Let's go. Does it work? Yep, it does. So, it's pretty great. I actually did install free PSM this time, so. Interesting, it didn't actually save my progress. Maybe it's per console. Maybe the saves are per console, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, as you can see, it definitely works um, on test kits and dev kits. So, yeah. Um, PSP Emu also works on test kits, but it doesn't work on dev kits. Uh, 
Alright, let's try it this time. It's actually, this time I actually, this time I actually do have free PSM, so I actually can do this. Heh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the point is, it works, right? Okay, okay, we see, it definitely works. So, brilliant. Thanks for watching. Remember to buy shares on GameStop. See ya.